Hey everyone, it's Ashley, and welcome back to my channel. Your girl was flipping through TikTok, and to be fair, that doesn't really happen often. Let me turn this down. It doesn't happen often. So um, I left my TikTok open to the last thing I was viewing, and I saw this band, and they're called Glass Waves, and it says, are you a fan of Sleep Token, Bad Omens, and Bring Me the Horizon? I answered yes not to them, but to myself. And I swiped over and it says, we are glass waves, give us a listen. And I was like, fine. So I turned it up. And so, yeah, that's pretty much all I listened to. And I was like, I'm not mad about this. It's called Dead Dreams. I'm debating on listening to that song or if I should just listen to their latest song, which is called the hell you've made so I feel like let's just go let's go big let's go to let's go to the latest song they have on their YouTube channel and let's listen to it and you know we can check out more if we're interested <laughs> it's been a minute since I've done like um a first listen to a, a new artist so I'm excited okay let's check out the song glass waves the hell you've made Okay, so listen, I hate music videos. I don't think what I'm about to watch is a music video, so I'm gonna let it play. I think it's just more like a visualizer, which is fine. Uh, so let's check that out, and I'm probably not gonna be paying much attention to the visuals. Um, I'll just be kind of listening to the song. I'm just pulling up the lyrics, and we can check out this song. Let's do it.
to see why they say if you like sleep token bad omens and bring me the horizon um i don't think they sound like any of those bands like i would like how do i say this kindly the song is good i'm not sure that i like the lead singer's voice and if you guys don't know me and you're new to my channel i can't listen to bands if they don't have a very strong lead singer and there are moments in the song that are amazing his scream to singing ratio back to forth is beautiful but his singing it's just like mm, i think i would need to hear another song to really give this band a chance i just want to go back and talk about the things i did like um let's just rewind Okay, so obviously there's a lot of vocal effects on this track, which is totally fine. Um, we can't just I love the piano in the background. It's a beautiful melody. This part reminds me of another song. Okay, so I love this part because him singing into his screaming voice is stunning. It's stunning. I, I dig it. I love the whole remixy sound when it comes to metal music. Like, I'm obsessed with that. I kind of wish the vocals were a little bit louder. Um, I know I'm listening to it at a pretty low level. I'll turn it up for you guys so you can kind of hear what I'm saying, but I don't know. I just, it's, let me hear it. Like, it's not bad. It's good. It's not bad. I feel like that was so predictable that dun 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 because it sounds like a lot of songs nowadays but um it's still great i would listen to this at the gym for sure okay so it's interesting because there is a background vocal and i'm not sure if it's the same singer like i'm not sure Whoever singing that part put us through hell. Beautiful voice. I think the thing where I'm confused is why there's so much vocal effect on the beginning of the song and then not any on the end. I feel like it would have been just better without any vocal effect. All right, I want to listen to the drummer for a sec. I like that drum. That drum right there was nice. It was nice. I love how the song ends too with the piano. That's very sleep token to keep that reoccurring piano theme in the song. My dog is such an asshole. All right, let me dive into these lyrics real quick. Also, I really appreciate you guys putting the lyrics in your YouTube video. Like I really do appreciate that. 
The lyrics are great. Where do we go from here? We can't just disappear. Spent our lives tongue-tied with ropes as laws to live by. Said we'd make it to heaven or into heaven, but heaven's passed us by. You'd rather put us through hell. Can't even look at yourself. You're not as holy as you seem. You try to lead us to believe, but you'd rather put us through hell. We've blindly followed your faith. We've worked ourselves sick. When will we get our bliss? Now we're stuck waiting at heaven's gate. Why won't you let us in? Why are we looking up when they don't give a fuck? They've been speaking in tongues, so fucking cut them out. Honestly, I would love to know what this song is about, just for the simple fact that it could totally be about the music industry and how they're just kind of waiting for their moment, for their chance. Um, I don't know. I would love to know what this song is about. I'll be honest, guys. Overall, this song's great. It is really good. I just need to hear more from you to, like, really understand your band because... Regardless, it's a great song, but I'm wondering like how, like what else you guys sound like because um, I'm not mad at this. I just am really, really curious. I'm very curious about your band. You're you're making me, you're making me interested. So, kudos to you guys. I hope you guys do very well. All right, so I'm on their website. Looks like there's five guys. Merch is cute. What is with bands not having an about me section when they're new? It drives me bonkers playing some shows in the states so the band members are owen alec tyler brendan and noah electronic rock hard rock post hardcore alternative metal and metalcore hometown rochester new york amazing okay i'm not mad about this band like let's be real i dig them they have about twenty four thousand followers on tiktok they have about, they have less than a thousand subscribers on YouTube. So I'm going to subscribe to them and turn my notifications on. And then in regards to other social media channels, let's go check out their Instagram because let's be real, nah, your girl's not on Twitter or Facebook. They have just over two and a half thousand followers on Instagram. So like cute, they're cute. I need to know why everyone's painting themselves black. Why is that a thing? Unless you have like black tats, why are we covering our bodies in black? I don't don't really understand it. I'm just looking at a picture of um, one of the guys on Instagram and he's like painted himself in black. Unless those are his tattoos. Why are all of them in painted? Okay, now I'm confused. I'm going to share this picture with you guys. Why do we all have like blacked out tattoos or are we painting ourselves what are we doing why are we doing this because okay they're painting themselves because I'm looking at a regular photo of them and none of them have those so why are we doing that that's a question I would like to know why has this become so trendy because it's not really necessary I just don't get it I don't get it at all like especially if you have tattoos and you're covering them with black ink like I I don't get it I don't like it I'm just gonna say it I don't like it Okay, I'll, I'll listen to another song or two of you guys and see what I think. But I'm not mad about this song. I'm just curious how you guys sound live. And I'm curious about your other songs because I feel like you're cute. You don't need to paint yourselves black. You have very nice tattoos. Well, the lead singer I can see has really nice tattoos. I can't really see much else going on in the Instagrams because you're all covered in black, which is weird. But like... Okay. But yeah, your music sounds great. I would love to see you live. If you come to Toronto, I would totally go. Um, I'm just really, really, really curious on your music. So I will keep checking it out. It's so funny when you find like a new band off social media because you listen to a song and you just don't know what to expect. And like the song that I listened to that mentioned like if you're a Bad Omens fan or a Sleep Token fan or Bring Me the Horizon fan, you should check out this song. Um, and like I dig little snippets of bands like that because it gets me interested to see what they sound like. So I feel like maybe I'll just like Dead Dreams better. So maybe I'll do that one next. Um, but yeah, I don't, you guys need to explain this whole painting of your skin black thing. I just don't understand it, especially when you have tattoos. Like, are we trying to like do what Sleep Token does? Cause I know they do that and I don't get that either. I just... Let me rewind. I do get why Sleep Token does it because they're trying to hide their identity. So if 
The members of Sleeve Token had tattoos or whatever. Literally the only color to cover that shit up would be black unless you use like a really good makeup. But then they'd sweat it off during a show. So I kind of get it. I still don't like it. But I want to know why you guys are doing it. So one of you in the band are going to watch this. You're going to tell me. You're going to tell me why you're doing this. I need to know. I would also be fully willing to do an interview with you guys. I would love to know about your band. I would love to know how you got to this point. I would love to know how it feels to go viral uh, because obviously you're going viral on TikTok and your views are going up on Spotify. So if you're down for it, I'm down for it. You know what? Screw my vinyl of the day. (laughs) Go listen to Alexis on Fire. That's that poster right there. Go listen to Alexis on Fire. They're a Canadian band. They are fucking awesome. If you haven't heard of them, I don't know what hole you've been living under, but they're amazing. They scream. They sing. There's Wade. There's Dallas. There's George. They're just rap yard. I just can't deal with Alexis on Fire. Go check them out. They're amazing. Every song is a hit. My favorite is Happiness by the Kilowatt. I'm going to see them live this August. They are opening up for Blink-182, and I have the best seats, and I'm so excited. I've literally just been to Blink show last year, like late last year, but I'm like, and the only reason I'm going again is because Alexis on Fire is opening and that's epic. To see Alexis on Fire in a stadium, dream come true. I'm sure it is for them too. So I'm excited and yeah, go check them out and I'll see you guys in my next video.